Welcome to another video from ExplainingComputers.com. Recently, several of you have been asking what I think about the new Raspberry Pi 2. Well, yesterday I received one to review from Newark Element 14, so let's go and get this thing unboxed. Right, we're now ready to open this thing up, so uh, let's take our package, get out our Raspberry Pi, hopefully there it is. Yes, here is our uh, Raspberry Pi 2, um, technically the Raspberry Pi 2 uh, Model B. We get it out of its little box, come on there. Ooh. Oh, there's also a little, um, what's that, quick start guide, but of course the most important thing is the computer itself. Take it out the anti-static bag. There we are, there's our Raspberry Pi Two. Let's put it down over there so we can inspect it in all of its uh, Raspberry Pi goodness. I'm pleased to report that although this is an upgrade to the Pi, we've got some significantly updated hardware as we'll see in a second, they've still managed to keep the same $35 price tag so that the Raspberry Pi remains a very good value single board computer. But to really get an idea of what's going on with the Raspberry Pi 2, we need to compare it with the Raspberry Pi 1. And so here I've got side by side now the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B and the Raspberry Pi 1 and Model B+. Plus. First thing you might be thinking is, well, these boards look very, very similar. And in fact, they are very similar. Same form factor. Um, they will run exactly the same programs. All the same peripherals will work. You've got very, very good compatibility between the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Raspberry Pi 1. That means a lot of the hardware is the same. You've still got four USB 2 ports. You've still got your um, Ethernet connector there. You've still got HDMI connector in the same place for connecting your monitor, or you can connect your monitor via this combined jack, which gives you composite video and stereo audio. We've still got power by a micro USB connector down here. We've still got our display connector and our camera connector, and 40 pin um, GPIO connector. All exactly the same, everything still works. But there are differences, and they're important ones. Firstly, these USB 2 ports on the Raspberry Pi 2 can actually supply 1.2 amps of power. So you can plug in much more meaty peripherals, providing you've got enough power being supplied by, obviously, the power connector. Secondly, you've got more memory on the Raspberry Pi 2. On the Model 1, the memory is here, it's actually located on top of the processor. You've got 512 megabytes of memory on your Raspberry Pi 1, but on the 2, if we look underneath, we've got a 1 gigabyte RAM chip. So we've got twice the memory on the Raspberry Pi 2. But the most significant change is the processor. The processor on the Raspberry Pi 1, as I said, is actually underneath the memory, underneath here. And on the Raspberry Pi 1, the processor is a 700 megahertz single core Broadcom BCM2835. Whereas on the Raspberry Pi 2, slightly physically bigger chip, it's no longer got the memory on top of it. Here on the Raspberry Pi 2, we've got a 900 megahertz quad core processor. This is actually a BCM2836. And one of the big differences is the Raspberry Pi Model 1 runs ARM instruction set 6, whereas the Raspberry Pi 2 runs ARM instruction set 7. That's very significant because it means you can run a much wider range of operating systems on your Raspberry Pi 2. Perhaps most significantly, later this year, we're going to see a command line version of Windows 10 made available freely for download from Microsoft for the Raspberry Pi 2, which means you'll be able to get into all sorts of Internet of Things projects using Windows on your Raspberry Pi. And that clearly is a fantastic development. So there's a rundown of the Raspberry Pi 2 in comparison to the Raspberry Pi 1. But you're probably thinking, what's it like in practice? So I'm going to install the Raspbian operating system onto both of these boards and give you some comparative uh, speed tests. Right, I'm now going to boot into Raspbian on both the Raspberry Pi 1 and the Raspberry Pi 2. I've downloaded the latest version of Raspbian to do this. You'll need this for the Raspberry Pi 2. That's any version of Raspbian from February 2015 onwards. And by the magic of filmmaking, we're going to start these two off at exactly the same moment in time. So if I uh, press the switch, 
And there they go, we've got the what, familiar Raspberry Pi color square there. You'll see on screen the Raspberry Pi 2 has got four raspberries displayed because it's a quad-core processor. The Raspberry Pi 1 has got one displayed. It's a single-core processor. And as you can probably also see, the Raspberry Pi 2 is going much quicker. Look, it's almost there. And the Raspberry Pi 2 just arriving in Raspberry at, what, 21.6 seconds. And if you know anything about the Raspberry Pi, you'll know that's a very uh, fast boot. Raspberry Pi 1 is still getting there. I should point out both are actually launching from the same SD card, the same hardware, a, a SanDisk Extreme Pro. So yes, the boot test will be a test of disk speed as well, but it's mainly a test here of, of memory and processor speed. And as you can see, we're getting a boot time which is less than half for the Raspberry Pi 2. Boot speed is of course not everything, but if you're doing a lot of development work, rebooting a lot as you might be with a Raspberry Pi, that's a very useful time saving. Right, for a second test I'm going to launch LibreOffice, which is quite a sluggish program to run up on a Raspberry Pi 1. So what I've got is the same image of Raspberry I had in the last test. I've just been to the Pi Store, installed LibreOffice, dropped LibreOffice Writer onto the desktop, and I'm now going to click on it and see how rapidly it comes up on each system. There we are, and it's coming up very rapidly on the uh, Pi 2, what, 4.2 seconds to launch LibreOffice. That is quick if you know the speed of a, a Raspberry Pi 1 doing this. And we're about to see what that speed is. Um, what is it? 14.0 seconds. So this shows in terms of real world speed increases. You're doing something with some processor intensitivity there over three times faster. The Raspberry Pi Foundation is telling us that the Raspberry Pi 2 is a version of the Raspberry Pi you can do practical, real-world things on. Things like web processing and browsing the web, etc. And I think this test really proves that's absolutely correct. The Raspberry Pi is now three years old, with over five million units sold. Given its recent upgrade, I'm also certain that the Raspberry Pi will continue to be successful and not least with the launch of the free version of Windows 10 for the Pi later in 2015. For more information, you might want to watch some of my other Raspberry Pi videos, all of which work fine with the new Raspberry Pi 2. But now that's it for this time, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.